Sherpa Will. All right, this is weird. Why is Will here? And why do we have small packs on? Or why do I have my small pack on? We had a sudden, Largo, is your microphone on? We had a sudden change of plans. Um, we, hold on a second, I put my phone in here. We are getting on the trail today at one o'clock. You know, yesterday was a crazy day. And the plan was to keep hiking north. We just calculated the mileage. And everyone says not to factor to be able to do more than 10 miles a day in the whites and Maine. And if we do those numbers, um, factoring in Largo taking, Captain taking two days off a week for school starting the second week in September, we will not make it to Katahdin in time. So we are hoping we can do 10, more than 10 miles a day in the whites and in Maine and people that know us think we probably can and know how we hike, but we don't want to risk it because if we get a week away from Katahdin and um, we can't make it, there's no way to make it up because it closes. So we have decided in the last, what, hour and a half, Captain? Yep. And I feel, guys, I feel super stressed and I got very teary-eyed about it that we are going to slack today so we don't lose today. Tomorrow morning, we are going to get up at probably around 4 a.m. and we are going to drive to New Hampshire and we're gonna head north. We're not sure if we're gonna start at the New Hampshire border or we're gonna start at the Whites, but we're gonna head north. We're gonna skip the rest of Vermont, which is about five days of hiking for Captain, about seven for me, because I just missed two. And then if we find we're doing better with the mileage, and we're going to make our deadline, then we will come back and hike the rest of this before the 100 mile would. If we are not doing okay, then we will finish at Katahdin and we will come back and do Vermont after that. It will still be a through hike, but we'll have to do Vermont after we've already summited to Katahdin. Um, very, very, very upsetting to both of us. The other option was that um, Captain goes ahead. Because I know he, and he knows he can do the mileage and make it in time. Um, but he does not want to go ahead. He's capable and he's not scared or anything, but he wants to hike it with me. And, and I want to hike it with him too, but I would have let him make that decision um, if he wanted to just do, do it kind of all continuously. So that is the plan. Um, again, I'm pretty upset about it. I'm containing myself well right now, but... Um, I'm also kind of optimistic that we can do more than 10 miles a day. Maybe. I don't know. I know, I know Captain can. I'm just not sure with myself. You know, I've had feet issues and all this other stuff, so I just don't know. And I'd rather not, I'd rather break it up and complete the through hike than not be able to complete the through hike, um, in the calendar year. So today, because we didn't want to just drive to New Hampshire today and lose a hiking day, we decided to slack pack. How many miles are we slack packing today? 16 miles. We're starting at one. We're definitely going to be hiking in the dark unless we've all of a sudden got much faster. Then we will go back to the hostel, spend the night, and probably get up five hours later and drive to New Hampshire. So we are also going to be switching out all of our summer gear for our winter stuff. So our packs will be heavier and we will probably be at the back of the bubble. So we will see um, some of our buddies that we were hiking with in the beginning, which is pretty cool. And they'll probably be pretty shocked. And I think we're just going to tell them, oh, yeah, we're hiking 40 miles a day now. <laughs> just to mess with them. Captain, should we open today? I'm Captain. I'm Sunshine. Still we're still talking. It's day... For the sake of keeping it consistent, because I think on every day that we've done this, we've had both of our mugs on the screen. So come here for a second. Welcome back to day 371. Or wait, 137. <laughs> He's really enjoying this trail. 137. I'm Sunshine. I'm Captain. And we're still walking. And we're still talking. And we are going 14.5 miles plus 1.5 miles extra off a of blue blaze. So that oh my gosh! <gasps> Look at all the mud you just stepped in. So Sherpa will, although that he does not committing to that trail name, by the way. I keep calling him that. He doesn't like it, so I should not call him that. Um, <laughs> I don't know if he doesn't like it. Did he say he didn't like it? I don't know. I think he's just not committing to a trail name yet. He gets, he gets all, um, oh, what do I, what, what do I say? What's the right word? All, I can't think of the right word. He like, he wants to think it through, the trail name thing. 
gets deep about it. Well, so I did I I did no this yesterday was my first day in Vermont, right? No, wait. You weren't in Vermont. I was not in Vermont yesterday. So today is my first day in Vermont. But I missed the first two days. Like I said, I gotta go make them up. And Captain and Will told me, wow, this Vermont stuff is real. And look, hold on, Captain. And they got in the car and were so muddy. And they said plan accordingly. And yep, I can see it. Um, and we've been on the trail for like three minutes. So, oh, look guys, I'm wearing my hat today. I only agreed to wear it on trail if Will agreed to get me another one because I want to have one for after the trail. This is going to be so disgusting wearing, um, wearing, it's going to be like gross in a week, probably full of mud and whatnot. All right, let's get this party started. Um, would love to hear your thoughts on what we're doing. Um, I could really use a pep talk on this because I'm, I'm quite sad about it, and I, I don't want to come back and do Vermont in like November. Like I, I really, really wanted to do it all continuously. So, um, words of advice, high fives, whatever you guys want to give. Captain's handling it very well. It was actually his idea. Um, I'm not handling it so well, but oh well. It's very muddy now. I guess Vermont's always muddy because I think people said it was muddy in June too. Yeah. So they call it Vermud. So we have a two mile flat, a four mile straight up, and then the rest is pretty flat. So yeah. hopefully we can do this before it gets dark, but I don't know. I That's being a bit overzealous. What's the important thing I need to hike? Good question. I don't even need clothing. No. You need or shoes. Poles. My poles. You guys, I forgot my poles. I was, I was looking at you like... Something doesn't look right. Where are your poles? <laughs> now, Captain has his attached to his pack all the time, and he never uses them, so he's going to let me use them. But you need them on the down, on the right? Down, and we're hitting what looks to be a pretty hard down, but I'll make You can have it. You can have it. I'll be okay oh, no. on the down. I don't want you to fall. Oh, my gosh. I can't. I've never forgotten my poles. No kidding. I'm now falling apart. My poles. My, stash, my oh. special nice poles. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> So you guys know how I forgot my poles. Captain forgot much worse. I didn't forget anything. <laughs> he forgot to put on his deodorant and he forgot to brush his teeth. <laughs> Look, we woke up late today and uh, we didn't- Excuses, excuses. I la, 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 la. We didn't have time to do much. We were very intent on discussing what was gonna happen. I think what happened is he's just a dirty hiker now. He doesn't want to wear deodorant I will anymore. never do that. Just admit to it, no, you're like the rest no, of us. I so today our big climb is up Stratton Mountain. Um, and it's a biggie, guys. It's 70 degrees today. Woo, it's a hot one. But it's not 80 to 95, so we're still grateful because this is considered cool. So. It's like five flights. I don't need to go up there. You're going up there. What's up there? Nothing. Is there trail magic? No, oh yeah, there's trail magic. I'll go up there for food. There's, there's, they're cooking burgers. I don't think, I don't smell it. It's the wind, it's carrying it I have a good sniffer. I don't think I want to go up. There's a lot of wind. I'm not going up it's there, it's cold. too far. It's nice and cold. And we've got to do a lot of miles today. He peer pressured me. It's a good thing I'm not scared I of heights. I did nothing of the sort. What? I did nothing of the uh -huh. sort. This is like five flights, so I don't think I have the energy for it. How many more? You know, I you know just, we've hiked the entire AT, or we've hiked a lot of the AT. You can't, you can't complain I don't think about five flights further. of stairs. Look, I don't think I can go all the way. I'm serious. I'm gonna go halfway. Wow. Wow. Wow is right. 
And right over there is a ski lodge. Oh my gosh, wow. Look at this view. Is it worth it? No. Look how beautiful the trees are. Here, let's split a no, don't fall. fruit roll up since it's our Make sure not to fall. Oh, don't jinx it, Jesus. I've been falling down a lot of things lately. You guys, my bruise is so bad today. It hurts so bad. Oh. And it's a long way Laura, down. I don't have a fear of heights, so you're not going to scare me. I just don't want to drop my fruit roll up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is crazy. And people work up here just looking out wow. in the clouds. I went halfway and the view was amazing. I think that is probably the best, or maybe even the only 360 view we've had since we've been on the trail, no? Yeah, most definitely. Honestly, this has been quite a scenic and uh, easy hike this morning, or this afternoon. Yeah, considering it was four miles up, it wasn't, I didn't think it was too bad. No, absolutely. Now and we've got what, 9.4 hours we need to do before dark? 9.4 hours, yes. 9.4 miles. I'm, it's 4.35, 36, 37, 38, 30. We've got about four hours to do 9.4 miles. I think we can do that. Absolutely. So what are we doing here? We had a gourmet meal. My mom sent chocolate cake down with Will, zucchini bread. We have chocolate cake here. My dad sent tomatoes and cucumbers fresh from his garden. And so it's a fancy lunch today. Oh my gosh, yum. Another national forest. We have been going through a lot of these recently. And it's ironic to see how short they last. Dad and I went through one in half of a day and i'm sure that this one is going to be probably equally as short but still it's nice to be in these areas that are kind of protected and, and slightly maintained i'm assuming because it is a welcome reprieve from this however we did just instantly start walking in this national forest and encounter an absolutely massive root system so maybe that doesn't bode well but um let's keep going hello i am the all-seeing light uh we are a little update we have gotten off the official at for the day and we are doing a bit of a blue blaze to the parking lot. It's probably the longest blue blaze we have ever done, um, which is just a, a little AT tip there. Blue blazing is just basically a small trail off the AT. But this one is not small. It's 1.5 miles, which is, would you say that's the longest well, blue I did blaze we've done? Two days ago when I hiked without you. Wait, was that yesterday? Yesterday when I hiked without you, I had to blue blaze... To back to the trail so there's not always a spot to park the car if we're if we're slacking to park the car or to get dropped off or picked up where we want to get have that done so often we'll have to be dropped at a parking lot and then take a trail into where it meets with the at and so i had to do that yesterday which added i think a little over a mile i think i don't remember exactly that's right to my hike yesterday and then we have to do an extra mile and a half tonight to our hike to get to a spot that Will can come get us. And this is actually, this is a dirt road, so we probably could have come up this um, to get us. It's not, it's pretty, it's okay groomed, but it doesn't, it wasn't noted on the app, so we didn't really know to have him come up this. And normally blue lasers are like maybe 0.5, and wow, look, there's a city down there. Oh look, that's where we're going. There was one deli that was 0.5 off the trail, and we're like, nope, too far. But then sometimes- We did end up going there though. We did end up going, but typically, we will not go off trail more than like 0.2 for anything. Um, and it sounds so weird, but 0.3 into something and 0.3 out, you know, it's just a little over a half a mile and that adds up. That's 15 minutes for us. And when we're really under a and time crunch. And if we're crunch, doing that twice, a, once every two days, then yeah. that adds another mile and then. Yeah, so but yeah, it's funny. So, 
and, and we are waiting. We we are going to Sherpa Will. Sherpa Will, so even though that's not his official trail name. I think we're giving him that trail name. I don't think he likes it though. He, Too bad. He has to take it. Too bad. Ha, 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 ha. Um, and then we will go back to our place to sleep, pack up our bags, and then we are going to leave to, we still haven't decided, oh, sorry, honey. We still haven't decided if we're gonna do, that. we're gonna start at the edge of New Hampshire or if we're gonna go right to the Whites and head north, but we'll tell you tomorrow and keep you posted. And who, who, who goes there? Is that Sherpa Will? You better come up with a trail name or that's gonna be your name. I'm me. You're me. <laughs> Hi, All I need to be. Boy, it's bright. Mm. How's your day? Make out with me. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you don't smell. You're actually really good. Well, it's only been. What? I showered. Well, yeah, I know, but you Wait. still hiked all day. Welcome <laughs> to the end of day 137. Seven. We went from Forest Service Road 71 to Rootville <gasps> Road Parking. We went 14.6 miles plus 1.5 1.5 off, so 16 miles today. 16.1 if we're going to be exact. Oh, my neck hurt. I'm going to lay down while we talk to you guys. Is that okay? <laughs> we both took a nice shower and <clears throat> we are ready for our, our bump forward tomorrow. Yeah. We're, we're still not excited about it, but... I mean, it's not ideal, but... It is what it is. Will thinks we can still make it as we're going this way. And I think what we're just gonna, we're going to do is if we're way ahead, then we'll just come back and do it. And then, and then go back up and do the 100 mile. We want to get as far as 100 mile and before we come back and do any of this. So um, did you have a best and worst today? Um, I would say my best was the very nice kind of two miles that we had at the end of the day. Yeah, it was nice. It was like and my worst... I don't know. I got PTSD flashbacks from eating a, like a, a, a quarter of a pint of ice cream in the car going to this place. Oh, that's right. He, you did. You ate you ate a whole thing of ice cream this morning at like, well, I guess it wasn't this morning because we did see it. It was around like 11 o'clock in the morning as a, we're going there. That's a good amount of calories. It is, but it's also, I was, I was, I was getting worried. I was like, that oh, you're going to no. throw it all up. Oh no, maybe, maybe my body has rejected ice cream permanently. forever. <laughs> That'd be terrible because a lot of people have sent little, um, what are they called? Super chats on YouTube? What's it called? They send I think you, so. Yeah. Send you money for you because you can have ice cream. So I'd have to start eating all your ice cream money. Oh no. My best today was, um, hmm. Oh, my best was um i liked having I liked having a real lunch with vegetables that was really nice to have yeah. tomatoes and cucumbers from my dad's garden and then the chocolate cake with my mom it was good too and what would you say was your worst <gasps> do you have something in mind is that why you said that no hmm. not really today um, was a pretty good day my worst oh i know what my worst was us making the decision this morning to 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 skip the rest of Vermont and come back and do it when we once we finish. I mean, it's kind of needed, but we don't appreciate doing it. I, I yeah. kind of wanted to do the the. This is going to stop us from doing the entire trail, but do it all in like a. This in, is going to stop us. No, no it's it not. isn't. It's not going to stop us. It yeah. isn't going to stop us, but it's more like the feeling of having to come back and do it, which is going to be a bit annoying. Yeah, we don't like that. But I think that's that is that that's the trail, and we have to deal with it. It'll be interesting to see how it unfolds. Maybe. Oh. Maybe we'll go so fast we'll be back here in two weeks to do this. And I'm actually excited about the white cell. Yeah. I mean, everyone says they're so scary. They're so scary. Oh, they're so hard. But our friends, Chica and Sunset, said, don't let it scare you. It, they, they they didn't think it was that bad. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it for me. I'm ready for bed. Century. It's 11 o'clock. Century. What do you Century, think? Century, are you tired? What, what was your favorite? <laughs> she just gave us the half. She was like, I'm going to sleep. She's been trying to get us to go to sleep for like a half an hour, and it's now 11 o'clock. Cool. And we're getting up at 4 a.m. to drive to New Hampshire. <gasps> oh, let's say goodbye to Will and get on the trail. So, we are going to call it a night there, and we will see you on day 138. That's the dash, Bye. guys. And we are going from USFS um, 71 to what are we going to somewhere, somewhere. And you know what miles ahead. honestly this is crazy 
The people work up here just looking out into the clouds. Wrong way. Where are you going? Good question. <laughs> so, how was the tower? The top was awesome. Yeah, you definitely went to the top. 